Hi everyone, Caroline here. Okay, um, I'm going to have a play with the Imala all dressed up again uh, this week, but uh, I'm going to be making um, a Christmas card. And uh, to start with, I, I'm going to, uh, I've stamped her out, I've fussy cut her and I'm just going to colour her in now. I've done the dresses and everything, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's get her, um, her coloured in. Do a skin. It's a fab set this for uh, for doing birthday cards, Christmas cards, or just having fun with your journals and your scrapbooking. You know, it's, it's fantastic. I'm using some um, Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. That one was the linen. This is eggshell, so it's a little bit darker. Just for a little bit of shading but they do lighten as well as they dry so I'm just going around the outsides leaving the middle bit lighter just to give it um, depth and uh, perspective because the legs are not flat <coughs> So a little bit down the hands, like, like that, and a hair. Oh, and that one, yeah, that one was eggshell. This is gold to do on the hair. And I've got earth brown. I just want to get the the fine end and just do some some darker shading underneath with that. The lovely uh, marker pens these. They're alcohol markers. I'm going to put some um, little highlights in, like that, keep it down there like there, okay, we're going to do a dress now, these are Nova markers I've got, so I'm going to do the, um, the lighter one first, This dress, of course, is going to be red for Christmas. Yeah. 
this card is going to be for one of my granddaughters who absolutely loves fashion. Uh, it's mad on fashion and shopping, of course. <laughs> to my father's despair. And he says to me, well, Mum, I suppose I've got to go out to work for something. As well as paying the bills. Just a bit of fluff on there. I'm just shading that just to, um, again, so that it's not flat and it's just giving it a bit of shape. Like that. And then with the fine end, I'm going to do her lips. I think I've got a... Um, Blue for her eyes. Just need a fine one. <laughs> Just to give it a bit of cover up there. There we are. And now I'm going to add some glitter on her dress because I want the, the top here. To have like a furry furry top. In fact, I'm going to uh, use my Posca pen, and I'm just going to stipple along the top there, like that, and around the cuffs. Shine through white. And then we're going to glitter. And along the bottom, I've not done that white either, have I? a new pot so I've got to take my uh, this is the Chloe's uh, creative card sparkalicious glitter it's called um, Diamante Sparkle another bit more along the bottom there That's not working. See, it's better when you add the white. It shows through as a a glittered fur along the top and the bottom. Is that how that is now? That's better, isn't it? It's lovely that, doesn't it? Okay, let's leave her to dry for a minute and pop this back in my tray. Okay, now <coughs> I have um, I'm I'm going to be using an eight by eight card. I've got uh, two papers from the Funky Fossil Timeless Tradition that I've used from these lovely papers. Those, so that's my base one. I'll glue that up and pop that on. Make 
Church Central. And then this one is going to go right in the middle, like that. It's, uh, it's quite central. And that screw lift. That's okay. And what I've done <clears throat> is I've cut a piece of white card that is six by six, and each of these cutouts are two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and it's just worked out perfect for a shop window like that <clears throat> so in the shop window we're going to have the oh I've done that uh, I've done that upside down I've done that upside down oh come on Caroline what are you doing back again that's a blooper I'll keep it in Keep, I keep all my bloopers in the videos and it just goes to show we all make them no matter how long or how many years we've been crafting we have our moments and we're not perfect there we are that's better <laughs> I wanted this lovely thing at the top in the window can you see that coming down so what I've done then <clears throat> excuse me, is I put acetate on the back for the shop window and I foamed up all of that. But before I do that, I want to put the dresses in that I've cut out uh, and I want to glue those in. So uh, that's going to be hanging from that branch like that. That's in that window. We have to make sure that they're well up into the windows. that and then I've got some of the handbags off the stamps oops and they're going to go along here they're going to be here I was just shopping for dresses and handbags so I'm going to glue those on now so Just make sure that's in the window, okay. Yep, that's perfect. That's got to go across that bit at the top. Like that. Make sure that's okay. I don't want it too low, I don't want it going below. See, that's perfect, that isn't it. And these handbags in the corner. Shopping for handbags at Christmas. They make lovely gifts, don't they? I don't know if you've been following Tony Derrick on Stamps By Me, uh, but she's brought out her own um, fashion collection, which is launching very, very soon, called See The Rose. Do turn that up and have a look. Um, honestly, they, they are just amazing. The things she's created and designed. Oh, it's, it's going to be fantastic. And then I've got a little blue top there. These are all the colours of Christmas clothes, aren't they? And I think I'll just have that hanging from that branch there. Ah, that's nice, that. So can you see in the shop window? We've got all the clothes. <laughs> it's good fun, isn't it? 
So now I'm going to take all these foam pads off. Feel free to fast forward through this process. It is a bit boring. You can of course use a, a wood grain um, for the for the window as well instead of just white, if you wish. Or you can uh, blend with your distress oxides and colour. Or if you've got a nice embossing folder that's the wood effect, um, you know you can emboss that and then skim over with your distress oxides or the walnut stain something like that or the um, hickory smoke it's fiddly but worth it you know for the end result just stick with it takes a bit of prepping I would say probably about half an hour's prepping it's all part of enjoying your crafting though and, uh, spending a nice morning crafting Doesn't it? Last one. Here we go. It has to be an awkward one, doesn't it? Of course. That's quite typical. I'm just going to go along with my um, my glue. Uh, just to hopefully give me a little bit of wee leeway in case I um, I don't get it straight, which uh, happens. And it also gives it a bit of extra stick as well. Now I've just got one of those ones as a little bit of glue. I don't want it. Give it a second. Left it spoiling the look. And then we'll get this lined up. Best to line up at the bottom. See that? <laughs> it's a shop window. And um, I'm going to put some pads now on the back of her. She's dried. This gal is out shopping. Okay. Pop her there. Like that. And I've got um, uh, a sentiment that says, Tis the season. which is from a Stampinori set I have uh, from, from, I think it was last Christmas. And uh, pop that there. 
and it was just the right size. There we have it. Isn't that a cute card? For all the lovely uh, ladies that like to go shopping. Imala, all dressed up. And she is all dressed up for Christmas. And she's out shopping for a party frock. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give us a thumbs up. It helps us know that you've uh, enjoyed it. And feel free to leave a message if you've got any questions. And uh, I will leave links uh, in the description below uh, for all of the products I've used. And, um, and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now. <laughs>